Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a little comfort food that's less than 500 calories. Wanna see how I make it? Stay tuned and let's do this. Stay tuned to the end because I have another bonus. It's not a beauty bonus, it's a cleaning bonus, but I'm gonna add a little bit of a bonus in the end and introduce you to a product I just found that I think is amazing. I get no kickback, they don't know I'm making the video. I just wanna share some things with you that I found that I thought were unique or maybe not super well known and that you might be interested in. So stay tuned to the end. Okay, so we're starting off with some comfort food, some Friday night, family night. Is there any nutritional value in this? Maybe. I mean, there's protein. There's not a lot, okay? But it's calorie conscious. And I like biscuits. Man was not meant to eat bread. I don't know what we were thinking. If anything, we should all be eating a lot more bread. Anyway, I saw this method on Facebook and I thought, well, let's try this out and see if it's any good. And it is really good. It's comfort food. It's not gourmet. All of the French chefs would be barfing into their aprons. If one thing the French have got is passion, here, zero. But it's some good old-fashioned comfort food. So I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and show you what we do. And we are using the Grand's Flaky Biscuits to make pizza. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna be using the Grand's Flaky Layers Biscuits. You're just gonna open those up and cook them according to the package instructions, just like you were making regular biscuits. Then we're gonna use turkey pepperoni, some marinara sauce. This is 100 calories for a cup, but we're using only a quarter of a cup for our serving. Then you've got some mozzarella cheese. This is from Costco, 80 calories for a quarter cup. We're gonna double that. And some frozen chopped onions. These are amazing. If you don't have these in your life, get them. They're so easy, already chopped. Okay, so you're just gonna open up the package, separate them out just like normal, and you're gonna throw them in the oven and cook them up until they're nice and golden brown. And in one, two, three, voila. There they are, all done. Now I'm gonna take one and very carefully because they're extremely hot. We're gonna separate those layers out into four equal layers and those are going to become your pizza crust. And then with the sauce, this is a half a cup and I'm not even using a quarter cup, I don't think, on each one of these. And then we're gonna to top it with that turkey pepperoni, but lo and behold, I ran out because my son ate it all. So we changed to Canadian bacon. Topped it with a quarter cup of cheese on two and then the same on the other two, which equaled a half a cup total. And then I'm putting on my frozen diced onions. Can't really see them, but they're there. And then lastly, I took some dried Italian seasoning and just sprinkled that on top to give it a little bit more flavoring. Then I popped that back into the oven, three, two, one, and there they are. It was about eight to 10 minutes in the oven, and then I stuck it under the broiler for about a minute just to get it nice and golden brown. So good. So, what do you think of these pizzas? I think they're great. Your enthusiasm is underwhelming. And you? Yes, what do you mean, and you? What do you think of these pizzas? I think that they could go without the Canadian bacon, but otherwise it's good. You don't like Canadian bacon? Well, I ran out of turkey pepperoni because someone had been snacking on them. I don't know what you're talking about. I think these guys want it. Do you want some pizza? She just stood up. Did you want some pizza? <laughs> Okay, so I got my stats on this, and this is for one biscuit that you have separated into four little crusts and made four pizzas, and the total calories is 460 calories, 33.5 carbs, it's not low carb, but it has 15 grams of protein, so that's not crazy, but again, I've told you in a previous video, if you haven't seen that, go back and look at my previous videos. I have a protein shake for breakfast and a lot of times I'll have another one at lunch that I make into a smoothie. And so by the time I have gotten to dinner, I've had something like 70 grams of protein already. So um, this isn't a high, high protein dinner. It really is like your Friday night 
comfort food pizza night. And if you put some more veggies on it, it can be a little bit healthier. You can do mushrooms or peppers or red peppers or anything that you love. For me, I just kept it simple with turkey pepperoni and some onion and the Canadian bacon. Thanks, Jacob. I don't know what you're talking about. But I will have all of the individual ingredients that I used and their nutritional information as far as calories, carbs, and protein. So maybe you'll have a few calories left over on Friday night for the Drizzalicious popcorn combo that I made. Check out my last video if you did not see that. It's my go-to Friday night snack and it's less than 200 calories and it's amazing. And it tastes like a churro. So, win-win. Okay, and now for the bonus. Okay, this stuff is trending on Facebook. I'm sure it's all over the place. I didn't buy it off of Facebook. I actually went on to Amazon to see if I can find it. And in the ad, I think it does say that you can find it on Amazon. So that's where I got it. I will have it linked in the description box below if I can find that. But this is called Life Proof Home and it's a ceramic coating. I don't know if this will, will it, there we go. And what's cool about it, it's for kitchens, bathrooms, more. It shines and protects, and then it has a deterrent or a resistance to fingerprints on glass, mirrors, and stainless steel. Now, my children have like fingerprints from hell, so they're gonna get onto everything. I've found that it works the best on stainless steel, like on your refrigerator, microwave handles, the things where, that you clean and five seconds later, there's fingerprints that are covered in peanut butter all over everything. But this actually does help to deter the smudging from sticking. And so you clean less. And the cool thing is, is that it works on mirrors, on glass, on your granite countertops, on your ceramics, on your stainless steel. It works on everything. So the only drawback to this is that this was the only size that I could find. It's eight ounces. And if you're going to be using this on everything in your home, you're gonna go through this in like five seconds. So I've just been kind of concentrating it to my kitchen. I'm not sure there may be a way to get a bigger bottle of this. I haven't done a ton of research on it. So please comment below if you have this and if you can find it in a bigger bottle because I would love to pick up a bigger bottle. They send it to you with a little chamois so that you can clean with it. Easy to clean, anti-stick and super slick, reduces fingerprints and smudges, enriches the color in stone, tile, and more. And there is a warning on the bottom of this that it makes surfaces slippery. So don't use this on the floor. But anyway, give this a shot if you are tired of fingerprints all over your stainless steel because um, this actually does shine it up really nicely and it works really well. So there's your bonus. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Next week, I'm gonna show you my one carb Cheez-Its that I think you're gonna love. And they're super easy and they take less than five minutes and they're like three ingredients and you probably already have them. So if you don't want to miss next week's video, make sure you're subscribed, you've clicked your bell notifications, and share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up because it really does help my channel out. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day, and until next time, see ya.